Hey people, welcome back to this year's Halloween. And we're going to continue the, we're going to continue this month with a sequel to a movie that I saw that well, we haven't reviewed because I already saw it, hence the title Fresh from Fresh from my library with Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Okay. Yes, we're aware that Bill and Ted Face the Music came out, but since this episode does, but since this movie does feature death, downtown, and pretty much Terminators, life, <laughs> it pretty much deals. Better, it's better to de watch this one because if we watch the third one, then we might get confused of the plot. So anyway, um, this is one where it's set in the future. Kind of. Well, it starts in the future, at yeah. least. Yeah, with Rufus! Well, they're, they're college. They have a college. Yeah, to always be excellent. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, keep talking about it. <laughs> so She's a, she, since it's October, she, it's flu <clears throat> season, so she, she's a little under the weather right now, so I'm going to force her to talk about this. PG, PG-13 comedy horror film? Mm. She so, liked it more than Christine. Yeah. So the professor of the class, um, his class gets interrupted. What was the guy's name? Uh, a former student, wasn't it? Yeah. He just thinks that life is not excellent or whatever. So he Joss wants Ackland? He wants to change the mind of all the students at the college that know life is not excellent. So he has uh, robots. Denomalos. Okay. De Denomalos. Let's just say nomo. So he introduces from a telephone. Cyborg Bill and Ted's. Yep. From a telephone booth. And then he was sending them back to kill Bill and Ted mm -hmm. and be replaced by these guys because then they can change the world. But Rufus doesn't, professor. doesn't like that. So he kind of uses a, um, what does he use? He uses a, uh, it's not a fishing line, a guitar as a fishing oh, line, a guitar for their, uh, phone booth. Right. So it lands pitched right into the phone booth and so he follows um the phone booth and then there's... you don't see him land when the others land when the other two land um oh just relax relax girl hey coaster kitty you want to come here you want to come by me come here can't have her for five minutes nope you can't okay. nails yay so bill and ted um the robots go to find Bill and Ted. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Bill and Ted are doing a battle of the bands, but there's this girl who said, you guys are terrible, but I'll yeah. hire you. Yep. She's going to put them last at midnight, hoping that most people will be asleep and they won't be voting and they won't know what's going on. I just... This is going to be a spoiler review because at the end I just, this is the second time we're reviewing it and I just noticed something that's kind of an inconsistency. Okay. So then their band is called the Wild Stallions. Yeah. And um, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they really can't sing. It's just loud. Yeah, you try, you try doing that. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't do it last time when we tried to do this. And um, I'll just get this out. They're kind of like, they're kind of like Nirvana, kind of, or like Pearl Jam. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. A bunch of chords. So their girlfriend. No, no, what I was saying play... was it's just like, it's essentially okay. growling and not necessarily, yeah. you can't really yelling. understand them they a lot yelling. of the time. Their girlfriends play guitar and keyboard. Mm-hmm. Or no, I mean drums and keyboard. So after they get in at midnight, they go back to their apartment, which is like in a motel. 
And after they propose. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, sorry. Yeah. They propose. With but, mood rings, I believe. Yeah, these little heart plastic rings. Mm -hmm. And the girls were like, yeah, so wow, wow. And man, they must have gone to the same writer to write their vows oh, or yeah. to write their proposals. What came to them at night or yeah. something. So, yeah, it was kind of funny. They kind of matched. And then um, Bill and Ted kind of found them and spy in on them. So. Have you gotten to the, you mean cyborg Bill and Ted? Yeah. And then they. Uh, pretend to be the girlfriends to call them on the phone. And break up with them. And Don't bother then, finding us. We're going to the desert. So then Bill and Ted meet Bill and Ted and Bill and Ted say, Well, first hey, they're watching Lost in Space. Was it Lost in Space? I thought, mm -hmm. No, it was Star Trek. Was it Star Trek? Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe. It had Shatner. Okay, then it was Star Trek. So anyway, then Bill and Ted meet Bill and Ted and Bill and Ted say, Hey, Bill and Ted, come on with us. And so Bill and Ted are like, should we go with Bill and Ted? And then Bill and Ted say, yeah, we should go with Bill and Ted. So anyway, Bill and Ted go with Bill and Ted. <laughs> in the Wild Stallions van. And so they anyway. Go to the desert. Mm -hmm. And then Bill and Ted leave Bill and Ted out in the middle of the desert while Bill and Ted ruin Bill and Ted's life. No, they pushed him off the cliff first. Oh, yeah. It was like Bill the and same oh, exact yeah. scene from Star Trek. Yeah. Of what they had on TV. You mean it wasn't Lost in Space? No, you said Star Trek. So yeah, Bill and Ted kill Bill and Ted while Bill and Ted take over Bill and Ted's life. Okay. So then the dead Bill and if Ted... If you're not confused yet, get help with what I've said. Okay, so then Bill and Ted meet the Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. And then they like pants him or something? Yeah, <laughs> to get away. <laughs> oh, by the way, they're ghosts now. Yeah. Should I? I'm going to stop for a second. So, so this character, yeah, they, they pants them or give them a wedgie, wedgie or, or something. They call it something else. Yeah. And Do then your they notes take say off. anything? Then they take off. I haven't even read my notes, okay? That's a joke that is probably lost forever, people, and we apologize. Yeah. So then... So then they uh, kind they of take like over the bodies of, of cop of their parent cops of their co of their dad's the father. Or cops. I, I didn't think the other father was a detective also. Oh, and so, they and do it in a very <laughs> goofy kind of way, which doesn't so exactly then the cops work. Were trying to, they were talking like Bill and Ted. <laughs> Dude, man, there's a donut. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> And something's going to happen tonight at the bands. and Yo. <laughs> Think we did good. <laughs> then, uh. They walk out of the building. <laughs> the and captain it doesn't work. And the, and the sergeant or detective. And then they, yeah. And the, they they oh. leave their ears. How did we, how did the audio brightness change by doing this? I don't oh, know. well. Maybe it's just um, reading color of your face or something so the policemen look at it you good yeah I'm the good. screen would turn green if we did for another review mm. so it was you'll see that next week people so then anyway oh, it's, getting, it's getting dark here let me just no that doesn't keep talking i'm gonna zoom in so then um death the Grim Reaper catches up to them again. After they go to a seance. Yeah, they go, oh yeah, the, the, the seance, stepmother. The seance sends them. <laughs> the stepmother them, is the mother of the other one. The seance sends them downtown. Yeah. You have no idea what that's referring to, do you? Yes, I do. How? Monkey Bone. I don't know what Monkey Bone is. Oh, I should show you that review. No. So they go down to hell. Okay. And they have to face, face Well, their, what the heck? I said my channel isn't for kids. They had to face um, the their childhood fears No, first. they had to face Satan. and then Their they childhood had, fears first. Yeah, which included the Easter Bunny and a grandma. Oh, a grandma that had hair, her upper lip, didn't brush her teeth, bad breath, 
hair like on her chin and ooh, um, ooh, can we so see then, so then uh they meet the <laughs> so then they meet the Grim Reaper and it's kind of like an Animaniacs thing. Maybe Animaniacs took that maybe this is where Animaniacs got that episode idea from. Hmm, where they're playing where they're playing uh the Grim Reaper against the game, so they did like checkers. Did they do checkers? Battleship. Oh yeah, they did Battleship and it was like Sunk. <laughs> Two out of three. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. It was Colonel Mustard in the conservatory. Clue. Three out of five. <laughs> and then they show him playing Twister. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, fine, you'll win. <laughs> so now Death had to go wherever they were going, where mm -hmm. they needed to go. And they thought the best place to go was to get advice from God. To go to heaven. Um, Obviously... Everything, I thought, I thought, they'd, well, everything they've done in their life, they obviously didn't think that they could get through the gates. Well, so then they... I thought Bill and Ted would have been, like, okay, noticeable to walk through, but the Grim Reaper, but sure, they all had to, and, like, he's dressed like a, uh... Lady. <laughs> like, if they he's did... He's got a pinafore on over his robe, and he's got... Hat on. It's like a thing where if you had a, like, pro wrestler dress up in a live adaptation of Mary Had a Little Lamb, and he was playing Mary, that's kind of what he would look like. He he was funny. Mm -hmm. He was a bright spot in this movie. Definitely. So then he's like, yeah, what they said. And then they go through. Doesn't he have, like, a Jamaican accent or something? Mm, I don't know. So they go through. See you and... later, buddy. And then, um... Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> the jolly is out. Okay. So then, um, they get before God. Can I do one more? Christmas lights out. Mm. Do you feel flashbacks? Mm. Yeah, really. Do you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. When all you did was Arnold. Puns. Don't worry, Arnold has done tons more movies that we can do more puns with. Mm. So anyway, uh, so yeah, then they meet. So then they meet God, who and there's like, yeah, hey, God, God is like way really, up really stuff. like the Earth. Love what you've done with the place. Yeah. <laughs> and they need help, so they need. Um, so they go to. A, Scientists with brains or something. Like the smartest person on the pl in the yeah. universe. And so they find like this... How would you describe it? They... It was a hairy... Hairy big chicken McNuggets. No, they looked like humans. They were shaped like humans. Sort I of. thought they were kind of circular. Oh, maybe. They kind of looked more like uh, they nukies. Were like cavemen type. They look more like nukies. But anyway, so um, they go there and there's, they go to this party. And then the Grim Reaper Death finds the smartest scientist there. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and so, so they take them and they, they put them in the Wild Stallions um, van. Yeah. Who then they uh, end up at a home improvement place. Yeah. Not Home Depot or whatever, but it was this huge place. Yeah. And there's a guy who's smoking indoors, and the Grim Reaper says, I'll see you soon. And yeah. so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, get rid of that thing. Mm -hmm. So they're getting all this equipment and all these and supplies. And then there's a funny and... thing where the Grim Reaper has, like, his, like, uh, blade. And then he considers, like, a, like a uh, garden. Oh. Yeah, a garden. Like hole. a rake or something. And so it's like... Hmm. <laughs> and nope, put that one back. And then they, and then the two creatures merge together into like this. Oh, to do the the this robot big dude. Tads. Yeah. yeah. And it's they... kind it's kind of funny how they create like a uh, or how he makes a like he has a welding mask on. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention. Um, the cyborg Bill and Ted's decide to act like jerks to their, to the girlfriends. Oh, yeah. 
and then they trash the place. They make and, the happen. And then they... What do they do next? Then they take off their heads to do, like, basketball and stuff. And this is where 1991 special effects do not hold up. Hmm. I'll use this for an example. It's like... Hold on to hold on to this end. Like, it's like they cut their heads off. Oh my God! Can't you totally see? Doesn't it totally look like my head has been chopped off? Huh? Yeah. Doesn't it look like so it? So they use like a green screen or whatever they're doing. No, it was. You could clearly tell that they that it was just a close up, and they had like their face in like a paper mache thing or yeah. or yeah. Well, Bill and Ted needed to have a smart scientist. Because they did not feel that they were strong enough or smart enough to outwit the robots. So, yeah. Oh, so then knows. what they came out with was like, didn't it have a slinky or something? Yeah. It was It was um, done quite well. And then Bill and Ted are praising... I thought there was something I'm strange. Bill and Ted are praising the scientist for what he came up with. And then Death was like, I did stuff too. I did this. I did that. I got this. I pushed the car. You know, he was trying to. You have a great. You have a great. You have a great set of buns, Grim Reaper. No, it wasn't the Grim Reaper. Yeah, it was. It was the other guy. No, it was. Oh. It was the big furry. Hairy you have guy. a great set of. You have a great. You have a great butt. Yep. It's like, hey, I work out too. I work out too. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, they're now they are at um, the Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands, and they see their girlfriends are tied up above the stage. Stop. So yeah, the girls are tied up. Continue. And so then they see Bill and Ted behind stage. Um, behind the curtains waiting to go out and kind of forget now what happened because they didn't play right away. They um, beat him up or something. What what happened? Wasn't there something where the bad guy came down and then changed all the TV channels around the world? Oh, the bad guy did it? Yeah. Or Death did it? The bad guy did it. Oh. He was like, you will, ob or, eh, you will obey me. Mm. That's my default. That's my default random person. No offense, French or Belgians. Um, so. So people across the globe were trying to change their yeah. channels on their TV and they couldn't. They all just kept going back to Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. Um, that's when. Nomo thought that his Bill and Ted would win. No, Nomo was the one doing this. I know, but he thought his robotic Bill and Ted would win mm -hmm. against the dead Bill and Ted. And we're sorry, folks, it's been a while since we've seen it. We did do a review of it, but it got deleted. So we're redoing it from memory. Um, then there's a pretty funny bit with the with Bill and Ted and Nomo. Um, yep, they take care of them. And then there's a... We're going to spoil it. Rufus turns out to be the African-American lady that said, like, you guys need to practice, you guys need to do better, and saying, like, who else would let you clowns do a battle of the bands? Right, right. And then they get which, the girls down. Which, that does kind of point out a little bit of a plot hole for me. Hmm. If Rufus went with Cyborg Bill and Ted in the right. past, right. how was he able to get to the past before Cyborg Bill and Ted were? He didn't, really. No, he did. Because we saw that lady character before... Before Bill and Ted... Before the Bill the and Ted telephone Cyborgs telephone pole got there. Telephone booth. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Maybe he's just quick like that. Oh, there's also some other stuff with Cyborg, Bill, and Ted that we haven't talked about, like uh, Bill and Ted. Oh, how they trashed Bill and Ted called. Their apartment. No, I already said that. Oh, you Bill did. and Ted called them, 
And then Cyborg Bill is like, Hello, what's up? We're going to do the Battle of the Bands. <laughs> and then it's, it's one of those things where it's, I would say it's like a hangover ending where mm. there's a bunch of like photos and stuff afterwards that's hilarious. Mm. So, especially with the credits, stay after and stay after and watch all of them. Um I thought it was I thought it was a pretty good movie. It was a little slow in a few parts. Right. But it was it was they slow kept it going. right before right before they met um Death. The Grim Reaper. Because I felt like, oh, God, okay. Yeah, you were kind of nodding off throughout it. And then he came in and he was like, whoa, that was a great character. If so, you liked the first Bill and Ted. I would say this might be better than the first one. Yeah, maybe. It's at least Halloween themed. And since we're in the yeah. month of October, you you can only watch... Um, so many Halloween movies. Four. Or more. I'm trying to think like what is you can only watch Friday the 13th and Halloween so many times even though they've made about 60 of those films yeah, I was gonna say about what 20 each <laughs> but anyway and, it was, it was and a what's, good laugh what's really terrible is that with Halloween there's alternate there's alternate film series timelines so you can either watch Halloween or you can watch or so you can watch mm -hmm. Halloween then Halloween 2 3 4 5 and 6 or you can watch Halloween and then Halloween 2. Or you can watch Halloween and then uh, H2O and then uh, Resurrect or and then Resurrection. Or you can watch Halloween and then you can watch the new Halloween. Mm. Okay, whatever. There's a bunch of Halloween movies. That series is more messed up than the zombie film series. And no, we're not going to get to those. I tried making her watch Zombie 90 and that was too much for her. Yeah. Anyway, tune in next time where... Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay. It's not okay. Okay. It'll never, be, it'll never be well, okay. Well, don't think about it until we have to review it. <sighs> it'll never... Oh. Okay, here we go. I need some Scooby Snacks. Okay, that's enough snacks for you. Okay, we'll see you later. Have a good day. Good night. Bye. Bye.